In this lesson, let's talk a little bit about cascading style sheets, or CSS, and how we can use them to make our documents formatting consistent throughout the entire site. I'm looking at the blog site that we're going to be creating. Now, I've added my own picture and my own content. You'll be able to customize yours as you want after the lesson. But I wanted to talk to you about the three different types of CSS styles that you can use, and there's really only one that we'll be using in this particular workshop. The first type is called an inline style. It's where the style is actually written directly into the tag of the HTML code in the document. It would be okay to use something like that if it's a one-time thing. For example, if this headline that says Covered Bridges and Me is never going to look like this anywhere else throughout the entire site, it might be okay to use it for that. The second one is called an embedded style. That's where the styles are embedded in the head section of the document. Now, it's just for that one document, so I could build other documents, other web pages based on that web page and copy those styles over, but it's still very limiting. If I go back at some point and decide to use this, let's say I make this one an embedded style within the head section of my document and I build 20 other web pages based on this page and I decide later to come back and change this text to white, I'm going to have a problem because I'm going to have to manually change it in all 20 documents. So the third way of doing it is really the best way, and that's the one where we have an external style. So that is a separate file that contains all of the formatting, all of the different styles that we need, and we link it to each web page. That way, if something changes site-wide, if I had made 20 web pages using that external style sheet, and I decide at that point to change this text to a different color, such as white, I change it one time in the style sheet, the external file, and it automatically updates on all of the files within my website. So those are the three different types of CSS styles, and most experts would tell you the only one that they would really use would be the external style sheet because it is so easy to change the formatting site-wide simply by opening up that CSS external file and making the changes there. So we'll be using external style sheets in this workshop, but I just wanted to make sure you understand the importance of working with CSS styling so that you maintain consistent formatting throughout your website.